what I get from being on the creek really is priceless. Being connected to nature, being connected to my community and my neighborhood, but also being connected to myself. I like being out with wild things when I live in a very dense urban environment, which is the Washington, D.C. area. I appreciate just how quiet and peaceful it is, um, sort of get away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. My favorite thing about Cabin John Creek is just the closeness that my neighborhood has to a completely natural area with wildflowers and fish and frogs and turtles that I can just come down and enjoy even for five, ten minutes a day. You see tons of sunfish, sometimes if you're lucky, catfish and crayfish. My daughter loves this place because she loves um, all the challenges uh, that Cabin John Creek gives to her, like how to cross it, how to jump from stone to stone, and how to play. For me, as an educator, my favorite part is just seeing how much the kids love it and play and just enjoy it. I think that's the first step for them to care about it and want to protect it. It's a very uh, urban area, which means that you've got this stormwater runoff issue that's the main problem we're focusing on right now. When the stormwater comes through, it's taking down a lot of trees that are just at the edge of the creek. And you can see as you walk along the creek how many of those tree roots are exposed and also how many trees have actually come down over the creek. It's been obvious to me how intense rains from climate change are really affecting us and particularly the creeks. After a rainstorm we see so much down there and what's great is um, having the kids wanting to clean it up when they see it. And they all have become uh, recyclers and trash pickers from out there trying to pick it up. We're not telling them to do that, but it's because it's their creek where they're playing, they want to make sure it's clean. We all think that pollution and problems come from industry, big sort of corporate institutional pollution. The alarming fact is that a lot of it comes from what we do on our yards. Uh, from letting your dog out and just the kinds of fertilizers that you might put on your lawn. It all compounds into the creek. I was very impressed with Friends of Kevin John Creek who was trying to work with all the neighborhoods and bring them all into a community group that's concerned with our watershed. It just breaks my heart to see uh, some of the effects of stormwater runoff. You can clearly see the erosion and, and the loss of habitat for some of these creatures. And uh, it's why the Friends mission is so important to try to help uh, uh, the health of this, this ecosystem. It's a very passionate group with lots of creative ideas. And uh, I wanted to join and I encourage others to join. The more people we have to help, with the mission, the more we can accomplish. Frankly, I'm concerned about the future of the planet for my daughter and future generations. You know, everything is connected and interrelated, so it's not just Cabin John Creek, but our watershed flows into the Potomac watershed, which flows into the Chesapeake Bay. So if you've ever heard the expression, think globally, act locally, that's exactly what we're doing here. We live in a world now where uh, we, we do impact the globe, and if you are able to make a difference in a small way, that contributes to solving larger issues. And I think um, a lot of us are never going to be president of a country where we can make huge changes, but I think when we are able to make small changes, that makes you feel as though you're making a difference, and to me, that's important. It, it's absolutely essential for residents of Cabin John to get involved in their backyard it is something that we should take pride of ownership in. It's something that we all enjoy and use, and I think it's only appropriate that we give back to ensure that it's preserved and is there for, for future generations, but also for, for us to enjoy tomorrow.